It allows pilots to see what is uh, like to fly in the cockpit without even leaving the ground. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. So it's one of many innovative things they hope will encourage more people to consider becoming a pilot. Our Kyrie Stewart shows us more. Take a look at this. Oh, oh. Oh, you just saw me land an airplane for the first time. Well, sort of. I'm at Fly Legacy Aviation in Northeast Philadelphia. It's a commercial and recreational flight school and home to the state-of-the-art flight simulator. So we pretty much can take uh, people from zero to airlines. Alex Zubanetsky is the chief operating officer and says that most of its 200 students spend up to 40% of their training in the simulator. You can put any type of weather, just like you experienced today. You can put any type of weather, any type of terrain, any type of emergency situation and work it in the sim which is full motion, you get the full experience of it without you know, risking doing it in the airplane. And you can work out those procedures and then you try it in the airplane. Well, high turbulence, uh, crosswind, landing, like all those things that are super difficult well, for us to, to, to do in the airplane. He says that training more pilots is more important than ever right now. We have a huge population of pilots, baby boomers, that have to retire at 65. Pretty much half of all U.S. pilots retiring in the next 10 years. It may sound like a turbulent situation, but he says salaries for pilots are rising because of that. Starting compensation is about 75000 right now. And that's just over the past uh, three years this change happened. And many other airlines offering sign-on bonuses, tuition reimbursement. Uh, so yeah, the, the landscape uh, changed dramatically. This is just one of the reasons Supineski thinks it's an exciting time for the aviation industry, because there are so many opportunities. The sky's the limit. When you get above the clouds, you see the world from the different angle, you know. <laughs> You can experience that through, you know, Instagram or social media. So. In Northeast Philadelphia, Kyrie Stewart, PHL 17 Morning News. So Kyrie can add pilot to his resume now, right? Yeah, well, he was, after he did this in the newsroom, he was saying that it was actually really hard, even just... Oh, I'd the, imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Doing it with, you know, wasn't but actually it, doing it. But, but an important tool, too. Yes, and absolutely. And it's, it's close to home. 